hello Taurus, don't mind the glare from the sun. Well, hopefully that isn't too bothersome. No, nah, that's not too bad. Anyway, welcome Taurus and cross watchers alike to your mid-December to January reading. Yay, I'm not going to be doing a bonus reading um, next week, but I will be doing the New Year's whatever's next week, so. That way we all know it's coming up for the New Year, and then I'll be taking a break for a while, because, like, I don't know. I'll probably still try to do the randos, but who knows, because I feel like I've been on break for a while. Anyway, um, for anybody who is watching this, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, right? So, please check your charts, because this could resonate with you, this could not. You just boop your nose, away it goes. No need to worry about shit. That ain't got nothing to do with you. Right? Right. Also, like, naughty words. So if you don't like that, I'm sorry. Newcomers, if you want a personal read, it's in the description box below. First is on the house. Right? Right. Okay, I think that's the quickest I've gotten through that. I hate saying shit right at the very beginning, but, you know. People don't watch all the way. They just watch to the good parts. We got the Justice card right here. in your energy as well as the empress this could be you Taurus you might be feeling like an angry mom that is really hard to see with that glare though ah thank you son I appreciate your efforts to help I don't think I have anything that Yeah, that helps a little. You can see your name at least. Okay. But everything else is pretty much covered. So that's not too terribly bad. Anyway. Continue on with the wants and wishes. Well, there's some. So I guess that's the rest of them. Uh, King of Cups reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. is the wants and wishes. The obstacle and challenge is the Four of Cups. Hmm. Both reverse. I'm not sure if you're trying to be selfish about what justice is administered and you feel like the opportunity gets wasted before you get a chance to waste it yourself or if you're dealing with someone who feels like their tactics don't work the way they used to Taurus I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at but it's interesting nonetheless Fears and rejections, the two of pentacles reverse, and the final outcome, how this shit comes full circle, how it starts, how it'll end. Someone made a wish, and it was granted. Didn't you guys have this last time? Five of Cups in your beginning theme once again. Someone being scolded terribly, shamefully, wrongly, in ways... That make no fucking sense to anybody who's like ever, I don't know, been a parent or some shit. I don't know. But it's like something a little, it's always aggressive. It's like someone be taking their parenthood a little bit too seriously. Or someone's trying to parent too hard. Because that's what the Empress could represent over here too. You know, that abuse of motherhood. You know, she's looking directly over at this motherfucker like, what? What are you... <laughs> Like, and he's too selfish to notice that he can make the 10th cup with this wish fulfillment. It's like, it's interesting, Taurus. Alright. So this Justice card could be Libra. You could also be dealing with Libra with this Empress and the Two of Pentacles as well. Because that's all a little bit about balance and shit. But she's not balanced now. Mm -mm, she's kind of nuts. Just kind of. Someone is getting over their obsession over another person. Or maybe they were obsessed with you, Taurus and Cross Watchers. They could have been their, uh, what was that term I learned today? Favorite person. But then it was like, fuck that shit, I'm out. It went from the 7 to the 10 to a straight 8. Or an 8 ball. <laughs> Ooh. My bad. Um. I don't even feel like it was love. I mean, like, there's cups here, but like. I don't feel like love as much as partnerships or something similar to it, right? Down below with this Empress card. Taurus cross swatches. 
might be a brand new beginning with somebody. Two of Cups. You guys got a lot of cups in your reading. Um, not making a move would be disastrous, though. Because it wouldn't give you a tower moment. So go get new booty, is what it, I think it's telling me to tell y'all. Get new booty. There is a new... Like, I don't know, it's like someone, it could be a mother figure, it could be someone who acts like a mom, I don't know, but it's like, um, the situation is she's angry, she's bitter, she's bored, she's annoyed. And there's new love, but like, if she doesn't take any action with it, like, this tower won't come about. And I feel like this tower is important. Wants and wishes. King of Cups reverse. Selfish prick, right? Sometimes. Um, he's at a crossroads. Could definitely be Pisces. Also Cancer and Scorpio once again. Um, he's got to learn something about balance. Or there's something about balance he might have to yield or surrender. Maybe he needs to like give up on his shit. And, you know, he just goes somewhere else. <laughs> Let's see, he's at a crossroads about what's fair, and it's just easier to leave in a really, really dramatic way, and then, like, leave your turtle Melvin and be like, I raised this turtle from birth 150 years ago, even though they're, like, I don't know, in their early 20s or some shit, right? <clears throat> like, you know he didn't raise that turtle from birth, but if he can play the role, that's what he's going to do. <laughs> Ah, Taurus and Crosswalkers versus the difference. Let's throw cards everywhere. Well, with this missed opportunity, someone saw the light when it came to this. Even if he stayed with the mug, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think the decisions that had to have been made would have been good, you know, because someone would have been really upset that somebody didn't return back, you know, after they escaped and they've been very, very patient, and now they are very, very fucking nettled. And they are so nettled, they're, they're gossiping and not even paying attention to how their fruit and shit's going to rot out. Their lack of initiative brings disaster and causes love not to happen, if you will. Let's see, last card. And then the end of Fifi's. Someone saw the light about this relationship. But the decisions that have to be made are what puts someone in the fifis, in the feels, all up in their feelings, you know. And that's the obstacle and challenge. Just seeing the relationship for how it really is in the end. Fears and rejections, two of pentacles reversed, not knowing what kind of options to take. Um, you know, very focused. On this scenario over here, where it feels like someone's treating you like you are their child, Taurus and Crosswatcher, but still not in entirely understanding that a wish has been made for them, right? I don't even know. I don't even think they realize they made a wish. Those are the worst kinds of wishes. That's like inviting the fae in your fucking house. <laughs> Let's see. This is uh, kind of like a uh, this is like kind of like Stockholm syndrome I'm feeling a little bit if that makes sense. Like you're stuck in this world and you can't see a way out of it, you know. But the burden's almost over. Like it's right fucking there. Um, I feel like don't be afraid to take the initiative to open the door though. Cause some of y'all might do that. Some of y'all might just stand outside with your freaking burden on your back. Like, am I supposed to go there? Or... I'm pretty sure. Like, you're almost there. Don't be afraid to do something about it, you know? Nine of Cups. How this shit starts. How it'll end. Bring full cycle to the circle. I should have brought chicken out. And, like, thought it. Huh. Communication somewhere, healing. The star with Aquarius is happy, naked ass. Cause why not? It's fucking Aquarius. Don't do what they want. Ah, uh, 
We got the Emperor Reverse. Hmm. Did someone wish for, like, okay, let's say, like, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine shit, right? For any of y'all who into that. Did someone wish for a Masculine to come in? Because, like, the star also talks about making a wish, too. Not just about healing and communication and reaching out. But, you know, it's, it's kind of fucked up. Especially since he comes running with the sword. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um... Definitely could have been a wish to communicate, but this person is just way too immature to actually, like, communicate. It's like if you try to communicate with them, they get defensive. Like, super duper defensive. Like, to the point where they might just throw a slew of words your way for whatever reason, you know, because we really don't know. Um, people's true intentions, but, you know, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see what the ending theme is. Changes are coming to this whole, like, I'm gonna scream in your face scenario. So that's good. Let's see. I scream in your face like you belong to me. Ugh. Something better change in that because it's pretty drastic, I would say. Bro, how are you gonna move? Ugh. Evil ass sun. Sorry you can't see right here. The sun is evil. Of course, it has to be. So let's see. After tarot deck, right? So let's see. Up top, where someone just lost the feels for somebody. It was because, like, this person took back more than they did give. Or they took more than they gave back, at least. Like, they even take from people who they know needed shit and be like, you know, I don't care if you're old. Um, kind of reminds me when they were putting dams and shit in the West Virginia, they would throw people out of their homes. I remember very clearly in, like, history class. A story about a woman who was in her house eating breakfast and these people came in to tell her that like she needed to get out she asked if she could at least finish her breakfast and they were like ma'am you've had all morning to finish that breakfast now hurry up and get out and it was like oof terrible right and it's I'm dropping one more on that cuz it's like Taurus and Crosswatcher whatever this is right here well you get two more so fuck it um, Whatever this is right here, it's like someone takes more from the other in order to go party. And, you know, someone's noticing that that's some shitty fucking shit. And they can't make, uh, and like, they flop on their emotions whenever, like, this gets brought up or whatever. Hmm. Down in the situation. Yeah. Someone might rec that happened before too. Someone might realize that they've been set up by somebody. When it comes to this love situation. Okay, wait, hold up a minute. Sorry you guys can't see. There we go. My hand. Alright, so like There's a love situation that could begin anew, but not taking any action could be disastrous because it won't lead to a tower. But that tower moment might be recognizing that somebody set you up with this lover scenario right here. It's kind of Jake shit. Hmm. Dropping one more. Fuck it. Everybody gets three. Well, that one got four, but still, everybody gets three. Um. Hmm. Like take what they can now and come back for the rest later. It's like they're scraping. Hmm. Hmm. 
Like taking a piece of your pride away. Walking off with it. Knowing you're going to keep that piece because you'll always find it valuable. That's kind of crazy. Anyways, so let's see. The wants and wishes up here. What is up with that shit? Someone's really fucking paranoid about the person next to them. Wondering if they should open it up and talk to them or not. Because, you know, they, it, like, eh, someone doesn't like being single. But they're really scared of opening up and talking to people, too. Or maybe it's, is this water sign? I don't know. Down in the obstacles and challenges. Some of them might find themselves way compatible with another person and they have a good time together. The sun. They might love the lovely. But it's like when they... But someone is... Uh, mm. Someone will murder themselves and the person they love they ever try to leave. <laughs> That's creepy. That's a bit much, you know. And then they offer shit. It's just like, what? You know, like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to beat your fucking face. And, like, what? Mm. I don't like that. At all. Let's see. This could also be the, like, someone could be helping you. This person could be setting you up to make it seem like they're helping you out. And you're saying that they're not. And you are lovers of a sort. Maybe not romantic, but otherwise. But I feel like at some point, someone's just going to take whatever they can and leave the rest because only a little bit is worth something. This right here, though, like, yeah, y'all get along together, but this person goes on a fucking suicidal, homicidal spree at whatever point in time. I don't know about that. All right, fears and rejections, Taurus and Cross Watchers. Someone might be a servant to their own fucking wish with the Nine of Cups once again. Leaving them like a hot mess. Hmm. It's already past my time to go. I'm late for work right now, and I'm not even dressed yet. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Well, there's two tax recorders there. There's shit in the dryer that may or may not be all the way dry yet. I'll check and it there's out. There's shit in the washer that is definitely still wet. Well, so I think you can figure it out from there. Yeah. Alright, Taurus. Last row, and then we are done. Let's see. Your basket is over here. Alright. All right, cool. I can get all that. Someone has no idea that there's a bunch of bullshit going on. They're just blind to it. And that's probably you. You probably have no fucking clue that any of this shit is even happening. You might not even realize that there's two forms, like, fighting over your individual soul. Because you're just there chilling with your bison. Right? Right. So... That's the end of the reading, Taurus and Cross Watchers. So if you enjoyed this, like, share, and subscribe, please. I love y'all's faces, and I hope this helps y'all out, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.